guys, welcome back to this course. So in our previous video, we have successfully uh, created this round that will give us all the orders and this is only for admin. And now in this video, I just wanted to, uh, let's put it here, admin first of all. I want to update the order or I want to change the uh, order status and the stock of that product that is delivered, okay? So what I do is, I am first of all going to copy this function let's put in here and that is update slash process order that is only for admin so admin slash the order and then the id of that order okay so first of all let's find the order await order dot find by id have to pass in the request dot params dot id okay and then have to check that make sure that this order is not delivered already so i simply type here uh, if order dot order status is equal to delivered delivered then we simply have to return from here uh, return next with new error handler and it I simply pass in here that you have already delivered this order okay and 400 bad requests but if it is not delivered then i have to update the stock of this product that is being delivered okay so let us type here order dot order items okay so order items is an array of all the products and then for each and then for each put in here a sync also because i have to use the await okay so order items contain all the orders, uh, all the products that you want to purchase and in the order items we have the quantity and the product. If I go to the here, you can see that in the order items we have the quantity and then the product which is the ID of that product. Okay. So what I do is I simply create here a new function that is called uh, update stock. And let's put in here the item dot product, the ID of that product, and then the quantity that I want to subtract from the total total stock. Okay. So let's create this function first of all here. So async function that is called update stock. And we have to get the ID and then the quantity. So I simply pass here a uh, type here cons product equals to await product dot find uh, by id and we pass in the id of that product and after finding the product we have to simply type here product dot stock equals to product dot stock minus the quantity okay we have to simply save the product so await product dot save all right so in this way the quantity will be updated and after updating all the orders we simply have to change the order status so i simply pass here order dot order status equals to the request dot body dot status whatever i pass in the request dot body oops that is status and then we also have to put in here the order dot uh, delivered hat. So I put in here date dot now. So it is delivered at the current time. Okay. And after that, I simply save the order. So wait order dot save. Okay, we have to pass nothing in here, so simply success to true. Okay, so let's save it. 
go to the order and let's create here a new one that is slash admin slash order and then the id of that order so is authenticated authorized roles and that is uh, update order simply copy it and save it put it here and also here simply save it and now let's test it out okay so if we go to the postman and click on products get all products click on send from here and for example for this order uh, this is the apple let's put this order again okay so now this is the apple if I go if I show you at the end the stock is 500 apples okay so now if I create a new order here now sorry update the order so that is put request okay things I need to update that in here that is uh, put simply save it and go back put and the domain slash api slash v1 slash the order sorry admin also admin slash the order and slash the id of the order okay so uh, this is if i close this now and go to the get all product orders send and now let's process this order okay so i simply copy its id control c and i paste it here and now let's uh, update its status from processing to delivered okay i go to the body row json and let's put here the i think so that is order status let me check that first of all so that is um, order status copy it put in here change it to deliver okay and if i click on send so error order validation failed order status is required so order status if i go back oh oh that is status only okay so let's remove this from here and put in the status and let click on send from here now So could not send the request so product validation fail path user is required so path user is required so where is a user let me go to the app.js or server.js that is unhandled promise rejection let me put here the error dot stack and now if I click on send so now success is true all right and if I go to get all orders send um, what I do is I simply go to the orders controller I think so this one is causing errors what I do is I simply pass here validate um, before save I type here false press ctrl s and now if I go back and click on send and you will see that here this order so the order status is delivered okay and then if we go to get all products click on send 
so I think so uh, the ID is not the same so order ID that has order ID is that and it's zero F so that is that is different ID I think so I don't know what is happening here um, because here we have different product ID but in get all products I have different product ID send and this end with 0 F oh this is 7 3 okay so now if I go back and go back and click on send again from here we have already delivered this order so what is happening here is because we got an error here that uh, this path user is required so that's why uh, the uh, stock the stock is not updated here because product is not saved okay so what I do is I simply process another order let me copy this one uh, this order this order control C put in here um, what is happening Let's copy this one. So control C paste it here and now if I click on send so we see a success true and click on send here again and now this order is processed I think so delivered at this yes it is processed delivered if I click on get all products now and I hope that this time it will work And you can see that this stock is updated successfully before it was 500 and now it is 499 okay so it is working properly so what happened before is that uh, we get this error that a pass user is required because you don't have pass here the validation before saved false that's why the product don't get saved okay so now it is fine okay so let's save this route that is update slash process order update and process order okay let's save it i hope that you understand so it really got messy at the center of this video but it now is working properly okay so now we have successfully also managed this update route okay now in my next video i also want to handle the doubt that how we can delete the uh, order okay so i will see in the next video